Welcome back everyone to Victoria 2 as the Roman Empire. We just got an event about the membership in the International Olympic Committee. The combination of renewed interest in ancient Greek civilization and the idea of sport as an important part of social development has led a French aristocrat, Baron Pierre de Coubertin, or something like that, to propose reviving the Olympic Games as a way to promote international peace through friendly athletic competition between nations, should our nation join this International Olympic Committee to organize the first games. Now, of course, this is an excellent idea. I mean, our main culture is Greek. Of course, we're going to promote and support everything that promotes, you know, ancient Greek civilization, uh, our ideals and and culture and traditions, of course. And after all, uh, you know, the, the Olympic Games, uh, they started in Greece, so uh, naturally we are going to accept this. This is going to cost, is it 10,000? I think that's 10,000 uh, mm, gold or whatever. So it's not that bad. Yeah, we certainly get to spare this. So yeah, it might start in Athens or Olympia. I'm not sure. Olympia is somewhere here as well. Don't know exactly where that uh, city is. But um, yeah, certainly we're going to hold the first Olympic Games. As you can see, we're still fighting rebels, uh, which is obviously always a little bit annoying, but... Ah, fine. We'll be able to deal with it. Uh, not too concerned about this. We have so many more forces now, and I do think that we're going to have to build uh, a few more as well. Now, I need to send you guys to... I mean, what is your route? Uh, I see. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll send you this way, I guess, and then... Mm, just just deal with all the rebels, please. That'd be nice. Okay. Yeah, that should, that should work out. And then you can go back to Bordeaux. Okay, let's uh, just get rid of all of this, and we can apparently create a state in Constantine. Let's go ahead and do that, because that will actually free up a little bit of our po colonial power there. Um, not really much. It doesn't really matter that much to us, but still, it's, uh, you know, might as well do it. Okay, so, as I said, still a few rebels to deal with, and after, oh, Brunswick declared a war on Galray. Interesting. Now, Galray and Brunswick both call us in. Um, I mean... Well, I think, here's the thing, I don't want Brunswick to do this, but I, I'm not going to help out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to help out because I need Brunswick as an ally to fight Germany, so I, I have to, I have to join them in this war. Uh, it's not what I want to do, but it's what I have to do, unfortunately. Um, but of course, I will not really do, actually, you know what I could do? I could just propose a white peace. I could just propose a white peace. They wouldn't even accept a white peace right now. That's kind of stupid on their part. But whatever, that's fine. Let them uh, let them do that. And um, as I said, we're just going to have to fight our rebels for now. Uh, it's looking pretty good. And we have a lot of flashpoint tents. And it might be that the next crisis will start in one of our territories. It's very possible. Although I do believe no one's actually going to... No one's actually going to do anything about it. I mean, we're still the, the strongest power in the world by far. So it's unlikely that this is going to happen. But yeah, all kinds of things happening. The United Kingdom has discredited some people. That's fine. I do mean to go to war with Liege. Um, but we still have to maybe wait until they demobilize. Because right now, if we were to attack them at this very moment, um, well, they would hit us with quite a few forces. And I don't think we're ready for this. I'd rather attack them while they're not mobilized. Because then we can run over their forces and then kill their mobiliz mobilization stacks. So that would be much better. And yeah, the United Kingdom still has to deal with their uh, communist uprising. It's a pretty powerful one, actually. I don't know how their colonies are doing. Uh, South America seems to be fine. They don't have much in North America. Africa seems to have a few rebels as well, actually. So that's kind of interesting. But, oh my god, we do have rebels as well. Ah... Uh, Oh well. Uh, anyways, upper house is rearranged. Wow, the socialists have almost as many seats as the conservatives. Ooh, we are far from the majority. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, what are you gonna do? It. It. I guess once again, it doesn't really matter all that much since we are still a uh, absolute monarchy. But um, apparently, our ambassador has been insulted. Oh, Liege. Interesting. Um. Send an official out to thank them for their time. No, 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 no. That... Well, we lose prestige. Hmm. 
and humiliate Kazu's belly. I mean, sure, yeah, sure. I will not. Uh, I will not uh, let us be uh, insulted like that. We will go to war with you, Liege. Just maybe not right now. Um, but we will go to war with you at some point. Okay, you are done, and you are going to deal with the rest of these forces. Perfect. Any other rebels that we have left? Uh, not many. And there is an engineer stack. Don't know for which army I need this one. Uh, doesn't seem to be the one up here. You are building enough forces. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. And um, who needs this? Uh, I think you need the uh, engineer. There you go. Yeah, let's go to Ankara. Um, and you still have a lot of fighting to do. Yeah. All right. That's that's fine by me. And um, you are just returning from your battles. Okay, and you're gonna make your way here and unsiege that province. And you can go back to Tunis as well. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. We've got our rebels under control. Rostov's opinion has increased. Hmm, that's not good. And yeah, we have this Kaz's Valley. Alright, well, as I said, I don't want to go to war with Liege right now because they have too many forces. So I will probably go off camera and I'll be back as soon as we can go to war. So over the last two years, we constantly fought rebellions as always. I know I could just reform, but I just don't think that our emperor, you know, really wants to do that. We don't have enough support for it in, you know, in the upper house. And I could obviously cheat and just give us more liberals. But since we're not a reformer, I don't want to do that. Uh, I think that only made sense when we played as Manuel III. But now as his son, I, I think we simply won't do it. Um, so we'll have to wait for either militancy to rise so that our people, you know, that our upper house wants to enact some laws or, uh, you know, civilly the liberals or whatever, uh, just have to gain more power in the upper house. That's just the way it is. We're not going to arbitrarily increase it with cheats. At least that's what I've decided. So we're just going to have to suck it up. I have to suck it up that rebels are going to rise up the entire time. Um, now, there's a few interesting things. I do want to talk about the current situation that we have. As you can see, we're at war with a Holstein. Now, Brunswick, uh, if you remember, they declared war on Galray, and I made them, I allowed them to uh, annex Galray because, you know, it was a silly country. Uh, Brunswick is no longer the big problem because we already have Germany. Um, in fact, we actually have six European great powers at the moment, so let's have a quick look at this. And uh, out of those six, uh, Th three of those six are German great powers. So we have uh, the Roman Empire, Germany, Liege, uh, Castile, the United Kingdom, and Brunswick as great powers in Europe. And then we've got Inca and Ojibwe in, uh, in the Americas. One in South, the other in North America. So that's a really interesting situation we have because uh, let's actually look at the sphere of influence because that shows the great powers quite nicely. So we have the Roman Empire obviously controlling basically all of Eastern Europe, uh, all of the Balkans, France, Italy, most of Europe, except for basically the German region. That is uh, completely divided up uh, between um, Liege, that has a Holstein and Pomerania in their sphere. They were successful in their war. Uh, Brunswick, uh, just recently risen to the status of a great power, they have kicked out the Blackfoot. Um, so that is actually the reason why there's a lot of uh, unsphered nations in North America, because they were all part of the Blackfoot uh, sphere. Um, but they will probably be added to the Ojibwe or Inca sphere soon enough. But yeah, so Brunswick doesn't have anyone in their sphere just now, but they're allied to the Roman Empire. They are a democracy, and they have the liberals in power, and they're allied to a absolute monarchy with conservatives in power. Then Liege, uh, they are also a democracy with the conservative party and they are allied to uh, his majesty's government uh, with a liberal party in the United Kingdom. So that's kind of interesting. And then uh, we have Germany and Germany for, for some reason, I don't know how this happened, it was not rebels, I'm pretty sure about that. They are now communists. They are a proletarian dictatorship so the king has been overthrown um, but um, well, Germany is still the strongest out of the uh, three German powers, and they are allied to the absolute monarchy of Castile. Now, I'm actually trying to improve relations because, um, you know, we have renounced our claim on Castile. They are still Peleolocus on the on the throne there, and so I, I think we should uh, we should try and get our relations up. Perhaps we can get Castile on our side to help us fight the uh, you know German democracies or 
you know, the German communists. That would be quite useful. After all, with the two, uh, Castile and the Roman Empire are the two only absolute monarchies uh, in the world. At least the only great power monarchies in the world. So, um, you know, we kind of should stick together. Uh, at least that's what I would think. Um, so, yeah, this is a really interesting situation. Three German great powers uh, vying for control over German lands, and then the three other uh, great European powers kind of allied to one of them. That's really cool. Then, of course, we are in a great position because we're also allied to the Inca, and we have basically split the... Um, we've basically split Asia. Um, so we got the Karaites and, you know, the, the Middle East as well as Arabia, whereas uh, the Inca are more interested in, you know, Korea, Japan, northern parts of China, some other parts of China, and Cambodia. And Chu is not in anyone's fear, but I think we're allied to them. Yeah, they asked us for an alliance, so I obviously accepted. We'll see if we keep that alliance. Um, you know, it doesn't really matter that much to me. Uh, and obviously, well, South America is split between the Inca and the Brits, and Africa is basically split between Castile and the British, although it seems like... There's a... Uh, Luba has lost quite a few provinces. Ndongo and Chokwe has, uh, has gained their independence. Hmm. Alright, well, that doesn't really concern me. I'm not really too interested in these parts of the world. What I'm more interested in is uh, taking over these lands from Liege. Basically, my idea is to declare war on Liege. Uh, we're going to call in our buddies in Brunswick and all, all of our other allies, basically. We'll quickly kill them, take back our cause... And I also mean to get Pomerania into a sphere. That would be ideal. If we could get them into a sphere of influence as well. That should be possible or should be doable with our infamy. Um, so that is basically the plan. Because then we would have even more power and we would be stronger here. Um, yeah, I, I, that's that's at least my plan. Now, um, we are currently in a war with Holstein, but we are able to peace out. Um, I do want to give Magdeburg to Brunswick because they, they're now a great power. And they're not the biggest threat. They're only great power number eight. Um, so making them stronger will in turn weaken Germany. Uh, and they're our biggest issue at the moment. So we'll peace out uh, Holstein right now. They should accept any second. And they have. Perfect. So yeah, Brunswick now actually has their name on the map again. So, you know, congratulations. Um, I, I hope you enjoy that. And what we're going to do right now is actually get our troops in position. Just so that we can strike at... Uh, well, at Liege as quickly as possible. I do need to make sure. Um, I'm actually going to send you here. I will send you to Cambrai. I do need to make sure that um, I leave one army here in the south to deal with uh, Great Britain. Because they are quite likely to attack us. Um, at least that's, that's what I think. I will leave the Praetorian Guard here pretty much. And then I'll send you... No, I sent you to Charleville, didn't I? Yeah, so you can go to Verdun. And then we need you to Nancy, and then we've got a few more provinces. Uh, I'll take you, Epinal, and then, hmm, yeah, I'll pick you, and you go to Bezancon, or whatever it's called, or Basel. I think that's fine. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll line up our borders, and um, that should look good. We have a few more rebels rising up. Um, I will let the Karites deal with this. I think they will, they will handle this. Let me see. I cannot give the military access right now, but they are our allies, so they should be fine. I think they're going to be dealing with this. Um, anyways, we also have a few anarcho liberals risen up here in one of our colonies, but I think uh, because we're going to declare war on Liege, Great Britain's going to join in, and they might actually deal with the rebels for us. At least, that is quite likely. Okay, so I want to wait for my troops to get in position. I'm also sending over my fleet. Um, we have got 10 heavy ships, 5 ironclads, 5 monitors... And then we've got uh, all kinds of commerce raiders. Not the new ships, but for some reason, I'm not sure why this is, but for some reason I cannot build the newest ships. Um, let me let me show you. I cannot build cruise. Oh, actually, I can build one cruiser. I can only build them in Thompson um, because in the other provinces I apparently do not have. Yeah, I need a naval base of four, and I for some reason can't build that. Only one per state, it says. Not really sure why that is. I mean, obviously we're building something currently, but even if we if we weren't, it's... Here, look at this. I cannot build, I cannot upgrade this. I cannot upgrade it here either. Um, maybe because it says I don't have enough money. Maybe that might be it. Okay, 
Actually, let's uh, let's keep an eye on this. Maybe that that could be it. Oh, and of course we, um, yeah, we're gonna send an expedition to go to the uh, North Pole. Yeah, surely. And who wants an alliance? The Aztec. I'm not too interested in that. Thank you very much, though. Um, yeah, I, I'll have to decline. Um, yeah, Cherokee, I'll, I'll decline as well. And Brunswick has demobilized, which is fine. Um, but you're gonna have to mobilize very soon again. I'm pretty sure about that. Uh, are you moving as well? Okay, good. And I don't want your alliance. Okay, so we're gonna make our way to the Straits of Dover. And we'll wait a little bit. Uh, Jacobines have risen up again. Uh, not too many, though. Uh, still annoying. Um, nah, let's quickly deal with them. I guess you can you can deal with them. Go go over here. And someone please take care of you. Okay. Anyone else? Is that it? Ah, uh, there's a few more. Ah, fine. Let's have a uh, let's have the revenging god deal with it. Yeah, th I I think that's that's okay. I hope there's not more of them. Uh, looking okay. You can combine. Don't think the Brits are gonna attack us here because they've got actually rebels. So they would have to deal with them first before they can attack us. Sweet. Okay, so, um, once we dealt with the rebels, um, I think we can declare the wars. Yeah, okay, we'll just wait for all of our armies to line up at the border and then we can we can go for it. We do have rebels in the marina and the car eyes. Let me see, that is... That's not really scary. I think the car is going to be able to deal with it in the marina. You should... Well, this could be close, but I think you'll be able to deal with it as well because I would like I would hate to lose my uh, my allies there due to rebels okay now everyone's ready yeah the upper house has been rearranged uh, small gains for the liberals and the conservatives so I guess it's going in the right direction but the socialists are getting a uh, well getting more sh more seats as well I guess anyway now, I'm not gonna form an alliance I will acquire core Elsa's Lorraine and we can call our allies. Basically, everyone's going to join in. And so that's good. We do have the Inca on our side. And we have Brunswick on our side. So we have... We're going to be three great powers. Fighting Liege is one great power. And if um, the United Kingdom joins, that's going to be three great powers on our side. Two on the enemy side. Which means this will be a great war. So we might even be able to get more provinces out of this. Because um, the infamy cost is reduced in these great wars anyway let's uh, immediately start to besiege provinces uh, i think we'll attack you right away and yeah we'll besiege Alice lorraine as quickly as possible too okay sweet yeah we're setting the siege here Drew. okay um can we catch you yes no we couldn't okay well we gotta be careful that no, not too much is happening um, okay, all kinds of people are granting military access. Let's uh, maybe slow down a little bit for this war, just so that we don't mess anything up. Okay, so, there's a few things going on. We'll try again. Uh, our, yeah, our North Pole expedition is going too well. So, did the United Kingdom, they did not join, at least not yet. I wonder, are you allied? No. Oh, the United Kingdom didn't join. Look at that. Huh, they were too scared. Well, that's actually pretty good because that means I can lower the funding on our naval units again. And that will save us quite a lot of, mo uh, quite a lot of money. But I do want to keep my navy here in Dunkirk because I think that's where we will need them uh, for the most part. Okay, so this battle's gone really well. We've got three armies there. And we just need to strike them quickly enough so that they don't get the chance to mobilize because they can really mobilize a whole lot of forces uh, that is actually quite uh, scary right there okay so now we've beaten one army back you go to Arlon and then I'll send one of you to Luxembourg and then we've got all of this under control pretty much okay especially the capital is important yeah Belgium helping out as well oh yeah this is looking good Brunswick's doing some good stuff okay I think we've got this under control pretty much um, do have rebels? Yeah, as I said, I don't really care about this at the moment. Ooh, well, um, maybe this isn't looking too good. Yep, okay, we'll have to help out here. Because, wow, they are getting a lot of forces. And they're sending in more. Is this... Where are they... Are these troops mobilized? I think those are their mobilized... Ah, those are their divisions that are just being mobilized. 
That's kind of interesting. Wow, they mobilized quickly. Look at that. But we are winning these battles so far. I mean, they're losing 2,000 men. And, of course, we've got more anarcholib worlds. Um, but that's just the way it is. I do... Well, right, we have one army here that's not really doing anything. So, I guess we could use them uh, to, to deal with our rebels. Okay, and we've sieged successfully. I will send you here. And you can go here. And continue the sieges. Um, I will have my Praetorian Guard just deal with it. And, I suppose... What are you guys doing? Ah, I see. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have you walk around a little bit. Um, I'm actually quite happy that we have so many forces in reserve. Because, you know, you never know what happens. Or what might happen. I do want to destroy the Diastani Communists, though. Because they could potentially be uh, troublesome. Especially with Diastan having no troops. Huh. Alright, let's go here. And then destroy all of their rebels. Might as well. It I mean, it will take us a while to get there. But that's fine. Alright, cool. Any, any other problems we've got? Yes, we do have a few rebels here. Uh, you know what? Get together, guys. And destroy them here. Okay. And you can destroy these rebels. Sweet. Alright, can we move on, please? Thank you very much. All kinds of rebels rising up. Okay, so we are, our sieges are going really, really well. And wow, they are just mobilizing more and more forces. I think this one, this is what happened in the Munich, the Battle of Munich against Germany as well. They just uh, had more rebels, uh, more troops spawn from that province. But wow, they are losing 4,000 men a day. Um, so yeah, what, what kind of legions do we have fighting here? Um, you are fighting... We have the 1st Legion and the 9th Legion. Uh, interesting... Okay. Yep, they're doing pretty well. And there's more people <laughs> rising up here as well. Oh my god, but so many of them die. This is crazy. Alright, let's just move on. Oh, we've killed so many of them. They've got no chance. Yeah, and I think they are now kind of at the end of their mobilization phase. Um. Oh, wow, 61? Okay, we'll wait for the capital to fall. And then we'll help out. Yeah, then we'll have to, we have to help out, because otherwise this is going to be a lost cause. Alright, they're besieging the Brunswick lands quickly, but that doesn't really bother me all that much. Oh, wow. Where are they getting all these troops from? How many, how many troops do you have? 128. Okay, I do want to take from Sphere, I want to take Pomerania. And that, unfortunately, does cost four infamy because Great Britain didn't join. I cannot... Add this war goal right now because we do not have enough jingoism. So let's quickly check out the Roman Empire. And where is where is jingoism? Jingoism at 6.3%. So it shouldn't take that long uh, to uh, to be able to add this war goal. Alright. Yeah. We're destroying you slowly but surely. And definitely to make sure to take you out as well. Wow. Uh, um. Alright. I'll send you here. Nah, I have to send... Ah, I can't send you in immediately, can I? Alright, well, we'll have to abandon the siege then. Because we do need to win this battle first. This is more important. So, I'll have you destroy them. I think that's okay. And then we'll probably send you to Metz. Okay, we're winning this battle though. So we can finally start the siege here. We do have two armies here. Oh wow, and they're sending in more men. Okay. Okay, this is getting a bit scary, because we're losing quite a few men as well. Can we get anyone to help us out here? Oof. Yeah, okay, okay. I know what I can do. I can send in you guys. Yeah, that's going to be necessary. And um, you, please continue your sieges. Oof. Maybe this is not really going exactly as planned. Okay, we need to... We're so close to finishing this, so I do kind of want to make sure that that we finish this before we well move our forces okay so we've got 60,000 fresh troops that should be sufficient to help out I think that will be enough to hold it at least I hope so but they're bringing more men to unsiege these lands who okay well we'll wait for these re troops to kind of reinforce uh, get a little bit of organization back and then we have well, I mean we've got 30,000 fresh troops here so this is actually quite useful can we improve our army tech no i've been really pumping up the uh 
industry so far, we can go for a combustion engine, giving us uh, aeroplanes and automobiles. I think we definitely need that. And then we'll go for an extra uh, railroad level here. Yeah, so this is a big battle, but yeah, we've finally turned the tide. And you want peace already? Interesting. Humiliate Pomerania. No, 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 I don't think so. I want something else from you. But it's interesting to see that they already want peace. Um, but yeah, we're not going to let you off the hook that quickly. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have to actually destroy you. Wow, 4,000 men on their side. That's a lot of casualties. Okay, well, glad to see Brunswick cleaning up these men besieging our provinces. Okay, yeah, so it's pretty good. I mean, we, we're using about half of our forces and we're winning. So I, I feel good about this. And where are you guys? Are Praetorians? You gotta deal with this army there. Go to Rome. Anyone else doing anything at the moment? Yeah, okay, you will you'll deal with these rebels. And that's basically all the rebels we have. Because, yeah, you are busy in Dihistan. There's a few communists, but you should be able... Okay, you know what? Dihistan has enough forces. I will uh, I will simply, simply let you fight. And Dihistan, I think, can deal with their rebels on their own. Let's just go back to Basra. Anything else? No. And you guys can combine as well. Perfect. Okay, so we've got our country back under control. And dude, we have a lot of forces. Let's make sure we're gonna... Yeah, let's make sure we put them to good use. Wow, this army is quite depleted, isn't it? Okay, you can make your way to Metz. Just need to utterly crush you. Alright. And... Yeah, we, you're not gonna have peace right now. Because I have... Yet to add some extra war goals. Attempt to justify war using demand concession against Chokwe. Interesting. That doesn't really matter to me. But it's interesting that France is, uh, you know, trying to get some lands. Okay, we'll attack you. These 3,000. Go to Trier. And I'll send the 12,000 here. And stop this army. Alright, this is going... Okay. Yeah, you stop. We have... A uh, loan to repay because I accidentally closed every single factory we had. Yeah, that was a that was a misclick. I wanted to stop the subsidy uh, subsidies and I just closed all the factories. So I had to reopen them. And that was very costly. Um, but oh well, you know, stuff like that happens, I guess. Okay, maybe I should have sent a few more forces here to help out. Ah, it's fine. But wow, yeah, Liege still has tons of troops. This is actually kind of interesting and scary. I mean, this is such a small country. Wow, they are certainly powerful. And who are you? Oh, those are my Praetorians. All right, that's fine. Okay, can you please die? Um, and be a hall opening. I think we're just going to say cheers because we do need the uh, reduce in militancy. And wow, there's a big Liegean army. Okay, luckily they're not going after our legion here because they could have easily destroyed that legion. Got to be careful about that. Okay, so... I want you to destroy, and I want you to destroy, and you will siege, and the 17 I will send over here. Okay. Belgium shouldn't, yeah, Lee, I shouldn't be able to uh, do anything with Belgium at the moment, because they're at war, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, so, you have finally crushed, man, that took... That certainly took a long while, and we'll probably free Belgium with this army now. Just gotta be careful that the 60 stack doesn't kill us. And then, I mean, as soon as I get to... Oh, a new core. As soon as I get to add a new war goal, um, which we can't do just yet, uh, I will... Well, I will be able to uh, peace out. So I think we're gonna finish off this war, and I'll be back as soon as I've got a peace deal for you. So I think it's time for peace with Liege. We're at 100% uh, and we're finally able to add the war goal uh, to take Pomerania out of their sphere. I don't think I can take any more because it costs 4 infamy and I don't want to go over the infamy limit. So uh, we're actually just going to have to wait for uh, November. Um, for November 6th, so three more days. I guess we can go a little bit faster. I've already ordered most of my troops out of Liege. 
uh, just because, yeah, I mean, we've completely crushed their army at this point. I think they have, yeah, maybe, maybe four troops left. Let me quickly see, actually. Yeah, they have, like, only a few brigades, and uh, they're basically fully occupied as well. And at 100% war score, they have to just give in to our demands. Now, there's all kinds of things that have been added. I obviously, let, let's get rid of all of this. I want to get Alsace Lorraine, since that's our core, and I want to take Pomerania out of the Liegean sphere of influence and include it into mine. So, for that matter, it would be kind of terrible. Um, I mean, I guess I could reduce Pomeranian uh, prestige. Sure, I, I guess we'll do that. Dismantle constructions? I don't know why that would help us necessarily. So, I'm actually... Um, I'm not going to do that necessarily. Th then again, actually, well, I'll all do it. Fine, fine. We can do that as well. Then I will give Liegean Gelderland to Belgium. That's not much. It's like one single province, but we'll do it as well. And But I'm not going to go for this. Brunswick, you're just not going to get it. So, sorry, but we'll, uh, we'll accept all of this. Actually, the peace offer is way too high. We can't even go for all of this. Ah, well, then we can't go for these two. That's 100... Ah, that's 101. Okay, so that means we're actually going to have to occupy a few more things. Because otherwise, the war score cost is simply too high. Alright, that's fine. We will um, we'll basically just finish a few occupations, and that should be sufficient. Now, uh, as you can see, I've reduced our tax quite a bit. So hopefully our people are getting their needs met a little bit more, and that will uh, lower their uh, militancy. At least that's the plan. I've also lowered the towers from 15 to 5, um, just because I hope that this way um, our factories are going to be a little bit more profitable. Because I can't really spend money on uh, subsidizing them. Because, you know, it, it gets more and more. So, um, it's just... Uh, it just, it just doesn't really work. Anyway, we gotta be careful here, because uh, I have the feeling there are people kicking us out of our spheres here. I don't want that to happen. But yeah, um, we gotta finish some of these sieges here. Um, that is actually kind of important. Maybe I'm actually gonna send in uh, the 9th Legion here, just to finish it off quicker. Uh, we will take a little bit of yeah, attrition, and that's not too bad. I, I, like the, uh, I like the changes in the upper house, because, uh, I mean, yeah, the socialists are gaining seats, but the conservatives and liberals are slowly getting back. Actually, you know what? We have the majority. Um, the liberal conservative coalition has the majority once again. If I'm, Am I correct? Yes, 29 plus 21 is 50. Um, and then there's, you know, point whatever. So, yeah, we've got a majority. Awesome. Uh, that's, it's been a while. Uh, since we uh, since got the majority. Um, and, of course, reactionaries rise up. Because um, why not? I mean, it's not like we are trying to take our cause back or anything. Alright, we'll, we'll deal with them. But I think, for now, I would like to... Uh, Alright, fine. You know what? We'll, we'll just piece you out if you accept this. Let's get rid of all of this. 111. 101. They wouldn't accept... But I think it will be lowered once you actually take over the provinces. The war score cost is lowered. At least that's what I think. Uh, we'll check it out now. Uh, yeah. So many things that you have to click away. Still 101. Hmm. Alright. Well. That means you cannot get this one province. Because I want to get my stuff. It's actually kind of sad. Alright, fine, fine, um, then it's just, uh, that's just the way it is. Propose peace, and we'll only take our things. Yeah, that's a bit sad. Maybe there's something else, we merely ate them. I guess we could do that, reduce their prestige by 50, sure. I mean, it's, yeah, I, I suppose. And humiliate Pomerania twice, uh, that's too much. Alright, how about this? So that, uh, yeah, Pomerania is just utterly humiliated. I'll go for it. Alright. Peace out. And, um... That gave us our lands back. Which is amazing. Exactly what we wanted. And now we just gotta deal with these rebels. Uh, but I will do that probably on my own. So, we should have Pomeranian Asphere. Okay, so it's looking much better. Well, I don't know if it looks technically better. But, uh, it looks better for us. Still, there's three German great powers. And, um... Well, I'm not sure which one I liked the most, uh, because two of them are democracies, one are, uh, you know, proletarian dictatorship. All of them are opposed 
to uh, absolute monarchies. So they're not really our friends. Um, but for now, we need Brunswick to keep the balance. Anyways, that was it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll be back next time, uh, now that we're in the 20th century. It has just started in this episode, actually. Anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.